Hey guys, it's the Deej with another Sales Energizer tip of the week. Lakeside edition. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Well, this week I've been interviewing uh, several people for a sales job and it was very informational, instructional. I had two people who were really good, a guy and a gal who were really, really excellent. But I chose one and I'll, and I'll tell you why. There was just some little incongruency. And when you're out selling or getting a job or selling yourself or whatever you're doing, you've got to be kind of comfortable for the buyer to want to buy. Let me explain. Have you ever seen these pictures of like a bridge and somebody's building it from the east side and someone's building it from the west side? I don't even know if I'm right here, but whatever it is here. And you know, they're building separately and they just they just kind of miss, you know, they're not quite there. And they're just, you know, they missed a little bit. It's just, it's kind of safe. I mean, you could jump over, but it's a little risky to do so. It's exactly what it's like with you when you when you're selling. You want to make it completely seamless while they go. So this was the difference between the one person who didn't get the job and the one person who didn't. It was very simple. The one person called me a little earlier than I was supposed to call him. And the other person waited for me to call. And that was pretty much it. They both kind of said they're on the same things. But one, I felt, just acted the words instead of just saying the words. When you're interviewing or selling with somebody, people are reading the whole picture, the whole kit and caboodle. It's not just the words, it's the way you say them and the way you act while you say them. Try that this week. Actually, this is the major tip. You call. The person who calls is in control. Make sure that's you and you'll make the sale more often than not. Talk to you soon.